trophy of Jesus Christ. Just want to say one thing from the depths of my heart. Whoever enters this church is blessed and blessed and blessed. Come on! Jesus is everywhere! To thee. And these things I speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Pastor George Sambathy, worth listening. Praise the Lord and I want to welcome all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are dealing with the beginnings and the end and I believe that these sessions had been a great help to you. I have received so many phone calls and my friends from all over the world had been asking me to do these sessions every week and more frequently. I take those suggestions and I want to thank you. I believe that you are all benefited through this this scriptural research and uh, the research would always would help us to be elevated in the revelation that God gives to us. Now we all know that we are dealing how man was created by God and how he created him in spirit, soul and body. We need to really understand that the creation of God is a bit complicated. It is not as simple as 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 as I said to you in my previous video class. And so so we need to really understand it in the spirit. We need to really ask God to help us with the help of the Holy Spirit who is a teacher, the best teacher in the world would help us to really understand what we are dealing with. Today, as we begin, I want to remind you of God's intention of making man in his image and in his likeness. Image in Hebrew, as I said to you, Zalem, and in his likeness, in Hebrew it's called Demut. But we see God who said, let us make man, he created man. Make in Hebrew is Asa, but the word created in Hebrew is Bara. Why? Why God who wanted to Asa man is only on Bara man. All right. So there is a reason. The reason behind that is Bara is in relationship to image of God. Whereas the likeness is actually conspicuously missing from verse 27. Chapter 1, verse 27. Why? 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 It is not a, it is not a scriptural error. It is, not, it is not the intention of the author. There is, a, there is a story behind that and there is a reason behind that. And today as we begin, as we go deep into the studies, I want you to understand a truth that I want to emphasize and bring an impact over that emphasis. Likeness, listen carefully. So what is that emphasis? What, what is the impact that I want to bring through, through that emphasis is likeness cannot be created. Man have to become like God. He had to become like God. Now you may turn to Genesis chapter 5 verse 1 and read for me and say that, uh, say that pastor here, the word says that God created man in his likeness. Now, you need to really understand the way that the, the writers narrate the things. Chapter 5, verse 1, and the few words is there, are in a summary format. You see, the word created, it is being used in a summary format. And what's the summary? God created man in his likeness. In his likeness. You see, so it is in a summary format and I will deal more with that. Why in chapter 5 verse 1 uh, and what's the meaning of when, when, when the writer wrote that God created man in his likeness. But then I want you to understand one very important thing that the likeness cannot be really be created because likeness is, is achieved in a process. Even today, 
with you and with me if we have to become like jesus christ it is a process you understand it's a process you just don't wake up in on one fine morning and then you become like christ no it is a process you go through and it is through the sanctification that you are made holy you are made holy uh, in a 30 fold 60 fold and in a 100 fold it's a process all right so as we begin, I want to first share with you in seven important points to explain what is this process and why is this process. Seven important points. Very quickly, very quickly. Why is the process? Let me start like this. Why is the process? The process is for that man should overcome. Man should become a victor. Man should win. And that's the reason why a process begins. You're all with me? That's the reason why the process is placed. All right? Number two. So to overcome, he needs a test. Man needs a test. So that he will win the test through obedience. And number three. What is the test? The test is that he should not eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That's number three. And number four, in order to eat, the man needed to have along with the spirit. As I said to you, that God created him in spirit form. So along with the spirit, he now he needs a soul and a body. Number one, why soul? Because soul is a seat of choice. Soul in man is a seat of choice. So if man gets a soul... He has a seat of choice to choose between obedience and disobedience. You see, God doesn't use man as a puppet. God has given the free will to man. The free will proceeds from the soul. And soul is a seat of choice. So he creates man. And that's the reason when he creates man, he becomes a living soul, as the Bible says. The reason behind man becoming a soul is just because he needs to have a seat of choice so that he would choose between obedience and disobedience. And of course, the fruit is a physical thing. So he needs a physical body. So now he is a spirit, soul, and and body there is a test right in front of him and he need to overcome that test so god in order to uh, prepare this whole test he forms the man he forms that's what we read it in genesis chapter 2 he exerts man who is already bara Man who is already a bara man is now formed, is now Edza man. Now he fashions him with the afa, the dust of the ground, adama, of the field, zade. Are you with me? And now he breathed into his nostrils, nishmat hayim in Hebrew, all the lives that enter into Adam. And that's the reason the very name Adam, as I say to you in Hebrew, it means mankind. So now the whole mankind in Adam and the, with, the, with the breath of lives in him is now ready, ready to become like God. You're with me? Ready to become like God. So we see this. There are two parts in the creation of God. One is that God created him in the image. And two, now he creates him in the likeness of God. All right? But that creation is in a process. The creation comes through a process. And in that process, there is man's involvement. That's number five. And number six, and that's number five, and number six, now the test begins. And what is the test? To put the test, he plants the garden in the east, in the Aden. And then he plants to trees. And on one of the trees, he places a law of prohibition. The day you eat the fruit, you will surely die. But meanwhile, listen carefully, he takes the woman out of man. 
and now man and woman ish and isha are now clearly identified point number 7 the devil enters into the garden through the serpent who was the beast of the field the most clever and cunning tempted eve about the fruit all right so the process begins the process begins shall we start we will begin how the talking beast tempted eve let me read for you as we begin from genesis chapter 3 verse 5 it says i read it from king james version for god doth know that in the day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil as gods you see as god now carefully listen man is in the process of becoming like god so the word as gods in king james version if you read it in hebrew it reads like this k elohim and what is the exact meaning of k elohim it literally means like god So what did the devil say there the day you eat the fruit you will become like god god knows it that is what the devil says in the garden tempting eve and we also know that in genesis chapter 3 words 22 god says with his own mouth lo man has become like one of us after man ate the fruit king james version says the man is become as one of us and iv is more clearer i believe the man has now become like one of us you see and so as we as we refer to the words of the devil in which we see the devil says that god knows the day you eat the fruit you will become like god and exactly it happens we understand from the very words of god in chapter 3 words 22 god says after man ate the fruit he says the man has become like one of us all right so is serpent right mhm i just don't want to say from my mouth is serpent right i don't know but then the day man ate the fruit according to the word of god he did become like god but what man did not understand was that he had become like god in not accordance to god's word but accordance to devil's word so devil made man to eat the fruit which was prohibited by god but the the end result of that fruit was that man should become like god but it was prohibited but devil comes in even before god and he tempts and makes man to eat that fruit and so man ate in accordance to devil's word and and becomes like god but he becomes like god in erring and in sinning the devil doesn't come with an outright lie but he comes with the same god's word with the same word of god with the truth but he twists the truth so as we go more deeper more deeper let's let's read again this words in niv genesis chapter 3 words 22 and lord god said the man has now become like one of us knowing good and evil all right my first question my first question is if man has become like god what is the problem there what's the problem there if man has become like god what's the problem there god should have been glad about it isn't it why was he upset with man why was he mad and angry contemplating to throw him out of garden have you ever asked this question it was god's will come on it was god's will that man should be be in his likeness yes or no in genesis chapter 1 verse 26 we understand that god wanted to make man in his image and in his likeness so it was his will that man should become like god he should be in the likeness of god so what's a problem why is he mad why why is he why is he planning to throw him out of the garden after 
after man becoming like him. You see, why is he not accepting it? Now some say, some think, some believe that the very tree that he is not supposed to eat, there is a death in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He is not supposed to touch the tree, he is not supposed to eat the tree, he is not supposed to. The day he eat the fruit, he will surely die. The very death is in that fruit. And that's the reason, you understand? It is not that God has put a law prohibition, but in the very fruit there is a death. And so, he is, supposed, he is not supposed to eat that fruit. But no, 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 no. no. You need to really understand. I want you to note that there is nothing wrong in that fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. No, there is nothing wrong. Let me prove it. Let me prove it. You see, Genesis chapter 2, verse 9. This is the first reference to all the trees in the garden. Genesis chapter 2, verse 9, it says, The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground. Trees that were all, I want you to note down, underline, all kinds of trees grow out of the ground. Trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil pull stop period that's it so every tree in the garden was good for food pleasing to eyes but only when he comes you need to really understand only when he comes in chapter 2 verse 17 God puts or places a law prohibition on the tree of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. See? Why? Why? It's a test for obedience. Why it is a test for obedience? Because he wants man to win. Why he wants the man to win? After he wins, God is going to do something with him. God is going to do something with him. What is he going to do? He is the clue. All right. Here is the clue. Here is the clue. All right. Let let's let's get into it more deeper now. Devil said, "The day you eat the fruit, God knows that you will become like God, K Elohim, like God." And in chapter three, verse twenty-two, we see that after man ate the fruit, God said, "Lo, man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil." So the underlining factor. Take both the uh, both the words, the words that proceeded from devil. And the words that proceeded from the very mouth of God. Take both the words and the underlining factor is this. Man, if he has to become like God or if he has to get into the likeness of God, that will come only through eating the fruit. You with me? That will come only through eating the fruit. The secret of becoming in the demuth. In the likeness of God is embedded in that fruit. But that should happen on the commandment of God. Right now it is under prohibition. But it should happen only on the commandment of God. Only on the release of the permission of God. When shall that happen? When shall that happen? On the day of maturity. On the day when man becomes matured. Yes, yes. Maturity. Maturity will come to man when he will become victorious. You understand the whole process of this test? When he will become victorious. When he will become victor. When he will win the test. You see, the devil... So, 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 you need to really understand. The devil's temptation is a test. It's test. But man lost in it. Now imagine... Now imagine, the man who lost in it, now imagine, if I have to retell the narration in a different way, imagine the day when devil came and when, he, when the devil met through the serpent and tempted Eve, and Eve and Adam would have said, God said to us not to eat the fruit. And now you say that if we eat this fruit, we will become like God. So we don't believe you. Oh, ye devil, get back of us. We don't want to lose. We want to win. We will never listen to you. And for sure, devil, when he is resisted, 
shall flee away after the devil would would have would have would have had a run from the garden of eden god in the cool of the day would have come walked in the garden and he would have asked adam adam where are you and adam would have said here i am lord here i am lord and god would have met adam and eve and would have seen the whole thing how they won the test and how they they have resisted the devil and he would have said wow adam eve you have won the test now you are victorious you are victors now so now you have gone through the process you have won the test through obedience and so now i permit you to eat the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil because i want you to become like me i want the demuth to come in you in you so when they would have eaten the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil in maturity they would have truly would have become like god i want you to note one thing prohibition stays in the period of immaturity prohibition stays in the period of immaturity shall i illustrate something you see it's a nice illustration you will understand imagine that you are a dad and you have a son of 7 8 years old boy and your boy your son comes one fine day you know from the school in the evening and he says dad i want to speak with you something really important and you say son tell me what is that and then he says that in the school i have seen a girl she is about 6 to 7 years old i have fallen in love with that girl and uh, would you help us to get married insane <laughs> your blood will boil you would even take your revolver and say get that girl to home <laughs> you know it is insane it is mad the boy need to grow when the time for the marriage comes it will happen he need to become a man he need to get that senses and he need to he need to stand on his own he he need to be ready when the so it, prohibition stays in the period of immaturity this boy is immature he, he needs to grow he needs to become mature he need to be a real man for the time of marriage such is this test too such is this test in the garden of eden you see but they ate it but they ate it not by the word of god but they ate it by the word of the devil they ate it in defeat they ate it in immaturity they ate it even before time you're all with me they ate it even before time they ate it without of the outside of the permission of god and that's how the devil deceived them the devil deceived them the devil took that boy and that boy of 6 years old and that girl of 6 years girl and got them married that's insane this is what the devil do even today you see he comes and twists the word of god twists the word of god so now they have become like god see 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 the see 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 the repercussions see how it turns now they have become like god knowing good and evil in a wrong way they have become like god but now they are in sin they have become like god but the death is bubbling inside they have become like god and had already become vulnerable oh my god this is really really very dangerous like god but in an absolute waste soul died body dying and spirit corrupted the man now stands on the platform of devastation now this man is truly in need of a redemption the man is truly in need of a redemption not only this man if you remembered the nishmat haim the breath of lives all the lives in him the, the whole mankind is in need of redemption because the mankind fell from the glory of god oh what a sad way 
to end a glorious beginning. The living soul has no place in the living garden. This is a living garden for the living soul. And so, the man who was a living soul is now a dying body man. A living soul man now had become dying body man. And so the living garden has no place for his dying body man. So God took him away from that garden. God took him away from that garden. You understand now the mystery of demuth, the mystery of likeness. Amazing. Amazing. We will continue to look into this beginnings and the end uh, on this topic. I have several things to discuss with you. There are so many things within these three chapters. I will discuss with you in the days to come. But I believe that I believe I am so blessed with this revelation. If you are blessed, say Amen. Praise the Lord. All glory to God. God bless you. I will see you soon. Uh, soon coming up with my next video. God bless you.